Hey, 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 how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Wogo Z, your host, and today we're going to talk about bot services to help you make an informed decision on what services is best for you. Let's go right into it. Before we go into the video, I just want to remind you that I do live stream every Thursday and Friday at 7 a.m. Australian Central Standard Time. All the links are down below on that landing page. And don't forget to join us up on Gilded as well at gilded.gg slash dclub if you want to keep up with everything that is going on with the work fam. Now, let's go have a look at the video. Now the first bot service that we're gonna cover today is Stream Elements One. All right, so we'll run through quickly all the features that most bots have, and then we'll concentrate a little bit more on what makes Stream Elements bot services unique. You always have the dashboard, activity feed, revenue, history, then you got sponsorship, partnerships, chat commands, user management, timers, modules. Uh, you can go giveaways, it's got its own, Road to the reward system and then you can connect stream elements with your twitter and have it send a tweet when you go live you can have media requests so but what make things very very unique if you do content on multiple platform stream elements supports uh, youtube twitch trovo you can only edit stuff for one platform at a time as of now and everything needs to be set up per platform what i mean by that is you set it up on twitch side and then you've got to jump on the youtube side for example through here and then click on it reset up again on the youtube side and then again on the trouble side if you do drive out. so with one login you access three platforms so that that's one thing so you got three platforms that can go with stream elements also you have merch yes in built in a platform you can make your own merch i'll show you mine quickly um just to give you an example so you just have to add your logo or the picture that you want to add through create new item and you can choose the item and then go through with customizing the actual item. And the third thing that makes Stream Elements unique is the overlay gallery. Stream Element has inbuilt themes, alerts, and widgets. Some of them pretty intense, actually. You choose one, click on create. And it will make it for you it will show you what it is and then it will create it for you go to my overlays all right boom they came in straight away and then we go into edits and you can edit everything about what you want what you don't want if you don't want this boom boom you take it off and you can move things around completely move things around then you can add new things alerts engagement labels study customs charity and seasonal and then stream tools your stream chat so it's very very customizable and alert box click on it it will give you settings it gives you all the alerts before the platform and then you can choose as well where do you want them to appear so if it's in front of the picture on the side of the picture or below the picture you can change what the alert name says and you can change variation you can add the uh, text to speech you can change text settings colors stroke shadow and you can even change the animation settings of the picture separately from the writing. So it is very, very thorough. And also adding it to OBS is really, really easy. So I just click on here where it says the connection, covers your clipboard, copy and paste on your OBS and you're done. 
you have everything done. Make sure that every change you make, you click on save because otherwise it won't appear on OBS. All right, so the next bot service that we're gonna have a look at today is Nightbot. I'm gonna run through quickly on the features that every other bot has, which is the dashboard, giveaways, regulars, uh, song requests, uh, you can have auto DJ or playlist uh, that you can add directly from YouTube as well. Uh, or you have their own ones. Uh, DMCA free music. You've got spam protection, timers. you got to support forum as well. But what sets apart Nutbot are, first of all, the integrations. So it's integrated with Muxu and Discord. What does that mean? So the same commands that you set up for your stream, you add Nightbot to your Discord community and Nightbot will still run the same commands as well on your Discord. And the second thing that makes it apart, takes it apart is the custom commands. Now, I don't have any set up at the moment, but just uh, as of default, it has a few more than usual ones. But if you go into help docs, you can find all the variable lists, which is the commands that you can put in. The variables are what makes a command a command. And they have custom command variables as well. You can have arguments. Uh, you can have... Uh, by channel ID, chat ID, countdown. So yeah, this is not bot. All right, cool. This is the time now for the third bot service. And let me say the best bot service if you're only streaming on Twitch. I won't go over all the features because otherwise this video will be 40, 40 minutes long. And it's got as long as it is. So I'm just going to go through the main features. Full disclaimer, this bot has got a free tire, a light tire, and a standard tire, which is premium. Some of the features that we're going to have a look at it today, they will be under the paid option. But if you're only streaming on Twitch and you believe only streaming on Twitch is the way to go, by any means, I highly, highly recommend to go for this bot. Free or paid. Pay gives you a little bit more features. But even on a free version, it gives you enough features. Now, other than the usual things, one of the things that come out as impressive to me are the Twitch points integration. So you can integrate the bot with the Twitch redemption um, as long as you you know you select a few options and then you got the premium off premium features they're only available with the standard not with the light they can convert virtual currency sound command visual command temporary vip personalized event or executing a command but the fact that you have a bot service that is integrated with the twitch point system it's cool they got something that's really cool that is called automatic clip so if you write in the chat exclamation mark clip, it will take the last 20 seconds, 30 seconds of your live stream and will put it up the top of your, of your overlay so everyone can see your highlight. It does require either a standard or light premium subscription, but still it's something unseen before. It's one of those features that unless you look for it, you won't find them and you got a history of your session as well and the progression of the channel mine is empty because i personally don't use this bot as you can see on the top by spot is currently disabled on this channel i'll go into a little bit which bot i use and then you got your user management as usual but you got tools which is the twitch extension and it gives you the leaderboard and under advanced customization during the premium account, you can change everything from the text, to the background color. And the same thing is for the viewer card. You got an advanced follow manager. You have to connect it with Twitch. But 
the main tool allows the detection and deletion of bots in valid account according to an internal database. Our internal database is updated regularly according to the reports and the automatic detection of our systems. Automatic deletion five hours, delete by nickname one minute, delete by date 15 minutes, force recovery 12 hours. This is a game changer because there are a lot of bot accounts in Twitch that's been around the bot raids and hack raids. So this is one feature to look out for. One thing that I want to talk about today is, are the integrations. So you got Twitter, Last FM integration, YouTube integration, Steam integration. So people that write game in chat, they will be able to have information about the game that you're playing, but mostly the Stream Deck integration. I don't know about personally any any other bot that has a Stream Deck integration. So with the press of a button on your Stream Deck, you can literally change the whole stream. So that is the most impressive feature to me as Wisebot. Now, we're gonna go over my choice of bot, what bot services I use, and why do I use it. The name of the service is Botissimo. It is, in my opinion, best multi-platform bot service. And I'll go over the main features, other than, you know, the usual ones, you know, commands and timers and um, giveaways. Let's start with the dashboard. So you see what um, what services are connected to. So Twitch, YouTube, Trivo, and Brian. Brian is an upcoming uh, platform. You can broadcast a message throughout the, the platform that you have connected with. So Twitch, YouTube, Facebook. I don't know Facebook, but you could do it with Facebook, DLive, Trivo, Brian, obviously, Discord, even throughout Discord. If you have connected Twitch, and if you have Twitter available, you will do it as well. From that dashboard is a little bit different compared to other bot services because it doesn't only tell you your stats, but it tells you as well what stuff you have active. For example, I got an active poll, got an active giveaway, the music player, you can stop, skip, have a look at the stream overlay, and then all the events, the leaderboard, chat cloud, and then you have the last seven days of new users, check activity, timeouts, events, command usage per command. And then you have the shop item purchases of all time. It gives you a very, very thorough view on your content based by platform. If you click into audience, you will see all of the audience throughout all of the platform, or you can go per platform and it will show per platform the name of the viewers and how long they've been um, and how many rings, so how many channel points they have with the internal, so baptismal currency, right? I call them rings, but you can call them wherever you want. You, can, you see your stream report based by platform as well you have the profile which i'm going to show you mine just so you have an idea and then you got obviously your chatbot the creator site it is available on other bot services but this is different and i'll show you how so this is mine for example you can customize everything of course with the paid version you can customize your colors and your font but it will be exactly the same as this one with another color. I don't know if it's yellow or red, but you can add your own links. Basically like a landing page. I do have a separate landing page for now, but I'm very much considering to change to this as a landing page. Because you can add all your links in one place. You can watch the live streams based on the platform. So Twitch, YouTube, Trovo. It takes a second to load. And on Brime. This is what Brime looks like, by the way. Um, so yeah. And then you got the donate button as well. You got the commands. It shows you the commands and what platform are they on. So for example, I have the Prime, <laughs> the Prime command that should be only on Twitch. But um, since I've 
added recently Brime. Um, it appears on Brime, I have to take it off, but it goes on Brime as well. Then you got your shop. This is based on the currency of the bot service. So with the bot currency that you set, people just by watching you, they will earn your currency, whatever you called it, I call it rings. And on here, you see the name, the picture, how many rings you need to have in order to redeem it. Um, unlimited items is because I haven't put any restriction on how many times people can buy it and they can even tap in chat exclamation buy and the name of the item and then last thing you got the leaderboard and that shows you on what platform and how many points they have and how many hours they've been watching so yeah it's very very thorough connections this is what i have connected at the moment but you can have connection from twitch youtube facebook live d live trivo brime discord slack and Twitter and more platform coming. Brime has been added in the last week or two because last time that I came in to change something, Brime wasn't there. <laughs> so it is very, very new. And for every platform, you can set what you want the chat to show. So for example, enable user level XP in chat, announce level up in chat, announce follows and he announces well welcome new users in chat i like it personally because i may miss some people but with the bot saying welcome to the stream team thoron <laughs> i'm just throwing a name there um i think it looks a bit better it looks more inviting and that goes for every platform including brian that has been recently added to the bot service now you have stream overlays as every other bot service most of the other bot services where you have your alerts that said this this event will be triggered when someone sends you a donation using the donation page this is for donut but if you're going to follows this event will be triggered when someone follows you on twitch trivo brime do live or subscribe to your youtube channel or give a like to your facebook live stream so all of those even the subs twitch um, trivo prime d live or sponsor your youtube channel i can go on and on and on but this means that all the alerts are in one place finally a service that you set it up once and it works for all the platform that you make content on. I was waiting for this. This is a game changer in my opinion. You, have, you can add the event list and that goes for all the platforms. So you will see followers from Twitch, from Prime, subs from Prime, uh, from Prime, um, subscription on YouTube, all in one place, only one events list. Then you got the different chats. So as you see, copy URL is because you can add them to OBS. The multi chat is the chat that comes from all of the platforms that you're using. If you click on the pen, you can edit the text type and the text size. You do need to have a paid subscription to be able to change the colors on the top of my head uh, i'm using the free trial at the moment so i'm i'm still testing you know the paid version because it's something that i'm actually looking into um you got polls you got giveaways and there is one url for each you got the live music player so talking about music you just add enter user video plays url and what it does is start rotating them and you will hear them through the stream. As you can see, it has all of the same features as the others. One thing that I like, you have a chat monitor where you can monitor all of the chats that are connected to your account. So you got Twitch, you got YouTube, you got Trivo, and you got Prime. You got even the chat logs, which chat that have been sent through on all of your platforms, and it keeps record of it. So if something happened during the stream or even on Twitter, you can go back 
and see what happened there. Of course, you have your spam filters and everything. You got the sponsorship tab that is coming up. It's something that is really good in my opinion. Uh, there are a few things that are good to have a look in here. So take your time, go through it. But the main feature that has been released last week, I got an email last week, uh, probably the best feature that I've ever found on any bot service, which is stream frame. Now, you have some themes that are paid for. You have some, some stream frames that are free and some stream frames that are unlocked with Pro. So the one that you get with Pro are a few, but then you can purchase the other one separately if you want a particular one. But I am using, even though I got the Pro subscription for seven days, I am using a free one. And those are, just go through it, go have a look. But this is what I use, right? You may have seen me on one of my live streams. The main thing that I like about this is I only need one browser source that shows me at the bottom, it shows me my latest follower, latest subscriber, and that it's based on all the platforms. Then you got to viewers or you can put it as empty or just leaving it like that. Or you can put your latest donation we have music player just on the right hand side, but you can put uptime. I'm not live now, so it will say currently offline. Then you got the world clock and it will show GMT time. And then you have your music player on the bottom right. That said, if you have music on your music player on Botismo, it will play through the overlay. The commands will be under music player, player controls, and that's where you can, um, change the volume but through the stream frame also you don't need the separate browser source for your alerts because they will pop up here if you want to see how it works just pop in one of my live stream check a follow sub if you feel like and you will see everything in action and it pops up with your logo and your name on the top left and the live chat is the multi chat so once you add this overlay automatically will add your multi chat so no matter what platform people are writing from they will appear right here so yeah this is this is the reason why i've chosen Botismo as my personal uh, bot service it doesn't have to be yours it could be yours it doesn't have to be but this is why my choice goes to Autismo because it's the best. And that's the reason why I chose Bautismo as my bot service. As I said earlier, in my opinion, is the best bot service for people who stream on multiple platforms. Now, if someone take on the bot services available in 2022, if you agree, if you disagree, if you want to know more, just check out here. So you heard and saw my opinion on the bot service available on 2022. If you agree with me, if you don't agree with me, if you want to add something or you want to ask me to go over one of the topics that I talk about today, just chuck a comments down below. I'd be happy to answer or do another video about this. Very, very happy to do it. I appreciate that you watched until now. Don't forget that I stream as well Thursday and Friday at 7 a.m. Australian Central Zone Time. All the links are down below. Join us up on Gilded as well at gilded.gg slash the club. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Well, until next week, happy gaming.